Dun 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 dun. Pew 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 pew. Dun 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 dun. Boom 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 boom. Boom boom boom. Boom. Oh well. Bit of fun with the ray gun. Once again, welcome to the secret undisclosed location somewhere deep in the bowels of historic downtown St. John's comes in the library of graphic literature with your pal Wallace Ryan. Hey! Unfortunately Luna is not with me to here tonight. She's off at work. But it's a sort of a uh, humid Friday night here at the library and I figured well I had a few books so why not show the few books I have. <laughs> anyway, uh, this is one I just picked up about a week or two ago, the last one, geez, actually it's been two weeks since our last episode, but uh, we skipped last week because I really didn't, I only had one book, so I waited until, I had a couple more books, and a bit of a juicier show, anyway. Anyway, we're going to start this show with, do 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 from David Walker, Chuck Brown, and Sanford Green, Bitter Root, do no 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 meow, Uh, this is a great little, uh, um, what would you call it, I guess, mystical, oh god, mystical true crime, no, mystical noir, southern mystical noir, I don't know, anyway, um, or Harlem, Harlem Renaissance noir, with a bit of mysticism thrown in, beautifully drawn, great story, I'm still in the middle of reading it, but I mean, it won, won an Eisner Award, and you don't get that for just, uh, dancing around. As it said, best continuing series, 220 and 2022. And I know those who read it at the time when I used to talk to people at the store, they actually really liked it. So once again, give it a, give it a check out. Beautiful, beautiful artwork too. I really like this. Uh, I like this. And I like what I'm reading so far. Great story. Amazing art. What more can you ask for? Huh? 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 Now, next up... Uh, is I got a couple of soft covers this week too, which is something highly unusual for this little uh, this little egg. Um, first, I have this is a little artistic masterpiece from Trad Moore, Heather Moore, Doctor Strange, Fall Sunrise. Dun, 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 dun. This is of course a Treasury Edition size, or close to anyway. I kind of like these actually. The uh, I wish Marvel would do. And DC would do the old treasury editions again. They they were pretty cool. I can remember one of the first ones. I think it was the Conan the Barbarian one. The one that had the Song of Red Sonja in it. That was the one that really woke me up to treasury editions. And how cool it is to read comics that are big. So it's kind of cool. This is, once again, this follows the tra tradition as you've heard me talk about many, many, many a time. Is that... When it comes to Doctor Strange, you have to have an unusual artist. You ha it, has, it can't just be uh, an average artist. It has to be someone that's very different, with a bit of a style. Because think about people who've gone the way before. You've had your Ditko's, your Gene Collins, your, uh, your Frank Brunner's, your Gene Collins again. <laughs> uh, who else? Let's see, you have your, of course, your Pete Craig Russell. He did an amazing few amazing stories Tom Sutton uh, even Starlet did it did a couple of Doctor Strange that weren't too bad oh Marshall Rogers of course uh, even the recent Chris Batchelor one not bad not bad at all so take someone special to do it anyway this one looked pretty cool uh, and I, I actually didn't have it ordered but when I was down in the my local comic book store I seen it and I was just like oh my god I should get that but John the guy at the counter said oh that's mine so he ordered me another one <laughs> so that gave so that came in a little, little bit late. That being said, on to do, 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 from the fine, fine folks at Fantagraphics uh, comes Sh -sh 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 Scrooge McDuck, the Dragon of Glasgow. Ba -ba 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 and this has George Chamberlain and Fabrizio Petrosi uh, working at it. Um, it looked pretty good to me, and. I know there was just something really cool about the art. Of course, you know, anything usually that comes from Fantagraphics 
and is Disney related like these these collections the Disney Masters the Carl Barks collection the Don Rosa yada 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 uh, I usually like to get them especially like the Mickey's crazy or is it Donald's crazy is adventurous anyway the the other Euro, Euro, Euro Disney stuff really really cool check this out like I say a little bit different from your from your standard North American Disney Fair, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> you like, you like, you like, you love, you buy, you taste, you bring home to mama. Yes. <laughs> okay, now last of uh, the newer books that we have this week is actually a, a reprinting, a, a new edition. And this actually came out, well, I, I have this book in its original two book edition. But when uh, Pantheon came out with the complete Persepolis, I had to have the com I had to have it all in one cool cool volume. I love this book. This is actually one of my favorite graphic novels. Amazingly written, uh, Marjane Satrapi. I don't know if I'm even pronouncing her name properly. Marjane. I don't know. Anyway, Marjane. Amazing, amazing work. Um, it's also been made into a really cool. Um, animated film which every time they show somewhere in the Arab world it starts right so it gotta be good <laughs> if, you're, if you're not making people mad are you really being bad as Nelson Muntz used to say and who I quoted in a speech of mine one time um, like I say am amazing book the funny thing about this is the art isn't you know it's not it's obviously not Barry Windsor Smith or Mobius or or uh, J. H. Williams the Third or or even a little, little Jack Kirby or, or, or a touch of uh, John Buscema. It's in very many ways the the drawing itself is rather simplistic, shall we say? I was going to say crude, but it's not crude. It, it does have a, a sophistication. There's a simplicity to it that really does carry it through. And it was one of the graphic novels, actually, that showed me that the art really does, more and more these days, the art is becoming, uh, basically, it's, it's, it's serving the story more and more, which, which it really should. Now, it's great when the art really stands out and you've got a graphic novel that got, like, a kick-ass story and amazing art. Then you're, bur you're burning on both barrels in. Uh, but, you know, if the... And in some ways, it's just like, I don't know if I'd want to read Persepolis if it was drawn by someone else. The drawing is part of it. It's the same way with uh, Gilbert Hernandez, when I first seen his cartoony style. And even Peter Bagg, who I love, both both who are some of my favorite artists, when I originally seen him, it was just like, you know, because I'm, I'm brought up on superheroes, right? Not used to the more delicate fear out there, you might say. Anyway, a, a totally, totally an amazing book. Um, of course, it tells her story. Uh, she was uh, grew up during the uh, coming came of age during the Iranian Revolution, and her parents, seeking to protect her, sent her packed her off to Europe to, to live with relatives. And it's it's the story that follows there. So it's pretty cool. It's it is really really super worth worth reading. Uh, one of my my all time favorite books. All time one of my top ten graphic novels, as a matter of fact. Now, we're going to close out this episode with me sitting back and having a sip on my cup of tea. Ah, beautiful, yummy, 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 yum. Mm -mm. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to work here. Um, today, actually, was my, I had a, uh, all this week I was teaching a cartoon uh, comic book camp, and... Of course, the last day I usually like to take them to the local comic book store to, so they can buy some comics and try to indoctrinate them in, into it. Um, I noticed too lately that a lot of the kids, especially some of the younger kids, there's not a lot of them are reading a lot of comics. Some of them may read graphic novels, but not enough comics. So I, I'm saying to parents and people out there, you got to start sharing the comics. Let's let's we gotta we gotta really get this next generation in into the comics and in, into the whole habit, get them to drop by the comics book store, enjoying the whole, 
every bit of, of, of the comic book loving. So, uh, yeah, if you, if you, you know, and especially to other comic book artists out there, uh, we hold a comic book jam here in St. John's, and I try to get a lot of the students that I have in, in some of these courses to show up for it. And, you know, we've spent 10, 10, 13 years now building a little comic book community. Slowly but surely, we, you know, we've got some really talented people here, uh, like myself, <laughs> and Paul Tucker, Mike Fee, and Kelly Basto. There's, there's a lot of people. Anyway, uh, we're, we're, we're like the new Seattle of comics <laughs> out this way. Anyway, so we're poking around in the comic book store. I ran over to get myself a sandwich, came back, poking around, and I noticed in the uh, sale bin they had four big books. Da -da 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 -da. Four of the 17, I do believe, it was between, I think it was like 96, 95, and 2000, or 2001, these came out. Anyway, 17 of them. Uh, a couple of different authors and like a wide, wide range of, uh, of different artists. So I'll just go through these quickly here. I mean, and some of the artists too, it's, it's like a little who's who. Uh, just to give you a, a shot, uh, Hilary Barna, uh, Alan Weiss, Paul Gullisey, Dave Lloyd, Mary Severin, uh, Pander, uh, Colleen Dorn, Rick Geary, of course, uh, Disraeli, Ty Templin, uh, do, do, do Eric Shanover, God, uh, uh, Rob Snyder, uh, my buddy Rick Parker, The Ballad of Jim and Tammy. Rick does a couple of things in these, um, and they're really cool. The man is a kick-ass cartoonist. Um, Brian Talbot, uh, uh, Cully Hammer, Adlard, Wendell, Sergio Argonis, Joe Sacco, Galen Sh Shonen, Joe Stanton, Bob Hall, a uh, highly underrated uh, creator. Dick Gordana, Steve Lieber, uh, Walt Simonson, James P Pasco, Bob Fingerman, who does a couple of things throughout these. So you have a few people who, who do appear here and there. Now this is the big book of scandal, so of course this uh, it examines various scandals throughout histories. I like these because these remind me of, of the stories that I do for the Newfoundland Quarterly here, the little historical uh, stories but the artwork just absolutely amazing so my new my new mission is I'm trying to see if I can get all 17 of these books for the uh, for the library now of course they're they're soft covers and as you all know I'm all about the hard covers but I'm willing to make it an exception because of course the copyrights for all these stories are held by the individual artists and Let's be realistic. What's the chances of DC going around and paying these people another time to publish these in hardcover? It would be too bad because it would be an amazing series to have in hardcover. So I will, I will, uh, this is the big book of the unexplained. So I will, uh, try to find them. The big book of hoaxes. Da -da 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 -da. Would we lie to you? Yes, they would. Uh, but not as often as some people like to make, make it seem like they would. Absolutely amazing artwork in, in these in these books. Let's see. Let's have a, have a have a quick look at, at who who's in this one. Who's drawing this one? Uh, Russ Heath, Eric Shenover. Let's see. Tom Sutton, Ty again, uh, Hilary Barna again, Joe Secco again, Paul Guinan, Michael T. Gilbert, one of my favorites. George Freeman, Terry Beatty, another great artist. Rick Geary, of course. Graham Manley, oh, Frank Quitely, oh. so you do have a few, uh, Sergio Aragonis, anyway, oh, and then last, the last one I have, the big book of voice, da -da 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 -da. same thing again, uh, Hilary Barta does some stuff, Fingerman, uh, Rick Parker, uh, so yeah, these are just so cool, I'm, I'm, I'm going to, I'm making it my mission to, to, to get all of them. So if any of you have any of these and you want to donate them <laughs> to the Library of Graphic Literature, please feel free. <laughs> anyway, that's about it. I got nothing else. I'm all out. I'm all out. <laughs> anyway, that being said, I'm going to have a sip of tea here. Earl Grey for those who, of you who are wondering. And I'm going to... Uh, 
post this and share it out to the world there and share the comic book loving once again. That being said, hopefully see you next week. Maybe uh, I'm hoping to get a couple of comics or whatever. And of course have uh, Luna back. And if I don't get enough comics, I'm going to do some sort of special episode anyway. That being said, thank you all very much out there. I hope you're having a great Friday. Get out there, have a fun Friday night and a great weekend. And read them comics. Share them comics. Mm -hmm. Share the comic book loving. Okay, see you next week. Bye! Thanks for having me over. Woo. Okay. Turn it all off. Shut it all down.